Got another portable display to check out today. It's from Ymaxit. Comes with all the things you need, including a screen protector and a magnetic case. And it's got a matte screen coating and it comes with all the cables you need. And when you plug it into your laptop, this thing is ready to go and looks really good out of the box. Quickly the specs, this is a 15.6 inch IPS panel, 1080p, 60 hertz, 250 nits of brightness, 800 to 1 contrast ratio, HDR, USB-C ports, mini HDMI, magnetic case, it's touch sensitive, has an anti-glare coating, built-in speakers, and is vase mountable. And the OSD is actually kind of refreshing compared to some of the other portable displays I've reviewed. It's actually really easy to use and figure out. And what's cool is, is when I plug this into my MacBook Pro, it showed up as a, like a magic trackpad, enabling me to use the touch feature. And this display just looks really good right, right out of the box. I actually set it to the game mode, which gave the best brightness and performance out of the box. And just for multitasking purposes, this thing is pretty awesome. It works really seamlessly with my Mac, and I can imagine it'll work just as well with a PC, which is pretty awesome. And the touch screen sensitivity is pretty cool. I was using a capacitive pen tool, but you can use your fingers, and it actually works better than any display I've ever used for touch. And here I've had actually did calibrate it because the colors out of the box weren't the best. But once I did that, looking at photography, it looked really good. And you can see actually the smoothness for touch is actually quite refreshing compared to some of the other displays I've reviewed. Now sometimes it does take a while for it to engage, but it works pretty well compared to some of the other touchscreen functions I've used on other portable displays. This thing paired with a laptop, if you're going to work remotely, is a game changer and it works great also with iPads. And so here I'm looking at a 3D model in Procreate and I'm actually able to even use the touch sensitivity on the screen. It's a little finicky, keep that in mind. I don't know that you'll be able to do full on 3D work here. Also, it works great for your portable gaming devices like a Nintendo Switch. And here I was able to hook it up quite easily to my Nintendo Switch. And this is a great little portable gaming station if you want to take your Nintendo Switch with you on vacation and bring this little portable display with you. And I'll include links below for the adapters you'll need to get this to work with your Nintendo Switch. And so I think overall, this is just a great value for what you get. You kind of get a lot of devices at one, including a monitor for your camera. Here I've got it hooked up to my FX3, and it works really well just for like a camera monitor too. So overall, I can't say enough about the value of this awesome portable display from Ymaxit. It packs in a lot of features and specs into a nice small portable package and I think it's a great display once it's calibrated it looks really good I'll leave links down below for this display and include the adapter you need for your Nintendo switch and I just want to thank you guys so much for checking out this quick review of the Y Maxit touch sensitive portable display I think it's a great bargain compared to other displays out there if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel Give me a thumbs up if you like today's content and ring that bell to get notified when I drop new content and I'll see all of you guys on my next review.